Hey everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123. I'm so excited because my saliva collection kit box has turned up in the post. So if you're wondering what this is all about, basically for my birthday, my lovely fiance Nathan got this for me because I've wanted to know more about my like family history and my heritage and stuff for so long. I find this kind of thing so interesting and exciting. So basically it's this little kit you have to take a swab of your spit and you have to send it off and then they kind of check out um your dna and they find out about your ancestors and where you're from and stuff like that i just think it's so super fascinating so yeah it's from 23 and me that's where he got it from there are a few others out there this had quite a good review and um yeah he paid i think it was like 70 pound or something so it's quite expensive but if you're interested in stuff like this honestly which i am I think it's well worth the money, do you know what I mean? So, um, let's open up the kit and see what's inside. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Do, do, do. So you've got to register your kit at the website, okay. And in here, okay, so no food or drink before the test in 30 minutes before you have to spit and fill the line, close funnel, detach funnel, screw on the cap, seal in a bag, and then ship the box out. And then, yeah, it won't be too long, hopefully, and I will um, get the results. Okay, so it says here, your sample will not be processed unless it is registered. Okay, so I must register it, and this is the little box here with all the bits and pieces that we need that's where you put your swab in there so yeah i'm gonna do this and uh, then i'm gonna post it off once it's all done and um as soon as i get the results which will be hopefully not too long i will um basically tell you what swap give you kind of more details about what i found out about my past and my heritage and my ancestry so yeah it's really exciting and as i say if you want to do this just go to 23andme's website find out more about it or there are lots of other companies who do this type of dna testing okay so um yeah <laughs> Okay, everyone, so I now have the results back from 23andMe, so the DNA testing. Uh, it took about six weeks, which I think is really good because they did kind of say between six to eight weeks, and yeah, it took about six weeks, and what happens is I got an email um, with a link so I could get my results, and if I want to, I can print them out, which I probably will print them out because then I can like keep them in a folder and always look at it, and it's really cool. Like, I've already gone through all these results, but I'm just going to kind of read them out to you as well because then I can kind of share what I got and also give you like a bit of a review um, of what the service was like so first of all service wise I have to say 10 out of 10 like, I'm not just saying that and by the way I'm not sponsored by this company like Nathan my fiance has paid for this service that we've got I've not been like given to me or anything uh, so whatever I say as a review is just my own views okay um, but yeah really really good service uh, literally emails constantly like when they got the box back um, you know how long it would be to you get your results and just like you know constant updates from the company on email just to kind of say hey you know everything's still cool everything's working won't be long and then you'll get the next bit um, so it's been really good communications um, I know some people said that when they've done DNA um, certain websites they like, wait ages and they don't hear anything so I've got to say with 23andMe like literally like every step along the way we've had great communications from them which was really good because I think when you pay quite a bit of money for something like this you do kind of think oh you know I hope it's going to be all right so to keep getting constant emails from them I think was a great thing um, and yeah everything's been really like easy and simple to understand you know I'm not the like most clever person in the world so I was like oh, I hope it's not going to be too complicated but everything's been pretty nice and simple and easy to understand so I'm just going to read you and tell you, you know, about some of the results that I've got. I'm very excited. Now, I've already been through these uh, with Nathan, but I'm, as I say, just going to kind of read them out to you a bit. I've got my glasses on here because I can't read properly without them. Um, so, you basically get um, an email with a link and it says, like, your results are in. Click this link. So, you have to sign in and then you get your results. So, uh, first of all, it says... Um, ancestry composition okay now by the way as I say I am like not very clever so I'm just gonna kind of if I say like the words wrong or something or if I don't explain something as I should I'm sorry okay but um, I'm gonna try my best so, yeah this is ancestry composition so you get little different sections that you can like click on and they tell you more about different 
bits of the results, okay? Uh, so it says, your DNA tells the story of who you are and how you're connected to populations around the world. Trace your heritage through the centuries and uncover clues about where your ancestors lived and when. Um, so you've, there's a little map here that kind of has shown me where my ancestors were and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so here are the results. I feel like I'm giving like the results of like a contest. Here are the results. Uh, so the first thing um, that's come up is, uh, I hope I say this properly, Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi Jewish. Okay, so I am 42.7% Ashkenazi Jewish. As I say, I am useless at pronunciation, but I think that's how you say it. And I was really happy to get that as my kind of, uh, like there's all different points and stuff. So that is, you know, to get as the highest for me, 42.7%, I was really happy with that because I am Jewish and I always go on about it, but I'm genuinely proud of my heritage, my faith. And, you know, ever since my grandma died, I kind of, you know, found religion a little bit more. So I'm always like, I'm a proud Jew, I'm a proud Jew. So to actually look at this results and see that, you know, there is a large percentage of my DNA, which is, you know, from the, uh, you know, early Jews. I think that's pretty cool. Um, next up, 35.7%. I My DNA is British and Irish, so United Kingdom. Uh, then I've got French and German, 6.6%. There's Scandinavian, 1.2%. Uh, Liber is that Liberian? Iberian? <laughs> that's uh, 0.4 and then it says 10% is broadly northwestern European and 1.1 one point is sorry 1% is broadly southern European and 2% uh, is broadly European Western Asian and North African 0.3 and North African and Arabian 0.2 and unassigned 0.1 uh, so as I say I can show you this here on the screen it's showing you on the little map like where your ancestors are from and also it gives you like a rundown in that list there which I think is pretty interesting so I knew for a fact um, my mum's grandma so my grandma's mum basically she is from Holland so I had a kind of like knowledge of that um, but yeah definitely like a lot of kind of like the Eastern European uh, Jewish uh, from my mum's side and my dad's side was uh, Christian British you know all he remembers of his past you know his family were from England but it looks like there was also a bit of German and a bit of French and stuff from his side of the family as well so that was quite interesting like, I didn't know that he didn't know that um, so the next one we're going on is it says maternal haplo group or something maternal haplo group so um, click on that and it says you descend from a long line of women that can be traced back to Eastern Africa over 150,000 years ago. Um, these are the women of your maternal line and your maternal haplo group sheds light on their story. So it says my group, whatever that it means. See, I'm not very good at all this, but it says my group is K1A, 1B, 1A. Um, our ancestors ventured out of Eastern Africa. They branched off in diverse groups that crossed and recrossed the globe over tens of thousands of years. Um, I'm, I think this is the one where it said that apparently my uh, early my early relatives were um, where is it here saying they were part of the original people who founded the uh, Ashkenazi Jews so that's pretty cool I'm probably like, happy about that um, so you know they were back in the day one of the first kind of uh, ancestors who, who created that kind of uh, part of Judaism uh, where is this today you share the group with the maternal line descendants of the common ancestor including one in 20 so one in 20 have the same kind of DNA Okay, right, I'm going back. The next one is DNA family. So this is what I really liked because it actually um, says that I have over a thousand DNA relatives on the 23andMe website already. So people have took tests like me, done all their DNA, they register it and stuff. And yeah, we've actually got, like, I, I've got relatives on there. So I think that's really cool. Like, I really do. Um, it says, like, some of them, like, I've got close family to second cousins none so there's no like intermediate close family on here um uh, there's 275 third to fourth cousins 746 fifth to distant cousins and it gives the location so there's the map thing 
again so that's pretty cool but it says the top three countries where i've got dna relatives are number one the united states of america number two israel and number three canada so i was like it's pretty cool actually um just reading through here uh 47 percent the ashkenazi jewish they've got eastern european british french and german western asian so it says compared to the average 23andme customer your dna relatives are 74 percent less likely to have lived near a farm when they were young 65 percent more likely to have worked as a lifeguard 37 percent more likely to have skydived 35 percent more likely to be a super taster and 34 percent more likely to think that fresh Kilanto, Kilantro tastes like soap. So, so you get basically when you go through these, you get all these like interesting little facts and stuff about you know what you are and stuff. But also, uh, it gives me a chance to connect with my relatives, so I can go on all the names um, that people have you know registered on this site with the same kind of DNA or you know we've got matches, and I can literally message them, which I think is really super cool. So uh, when I've got a little bit more time, I'm just going to sit there, put some music on and just like you know write out an email and just like copy and paste it to everyone on this list like even if i make like you know one or two new relatives who i can talk to or, i just think it's really cool like cause i haven't really got much family left anymore um and sometimes i get quite sad about that because you know i don't know i feel like some people have these massive massive families and i haven't really got anyone really apart from my mum and my dad um my cousin but that's kind of it you know people have either died or we don't talk to them and stuff like that so uh, yeah, it'd be nice to actually make friends with relatives, you know, and, and yeah, it's just, I don't know, I think it's really cool. I like that. Uh, okay, so yeah, then you've got your, uh, I've got to say this word properly because I can't and it's really embarrassing. Neand Neanderthal. <laughs> Neand Neanderthal. I keep calling it a totally different name but uh anyway so they were ancient humans who interbred with modern humans b before becoming extinct forty thousand years ago and this report tells you how much of your ancestry can be traced back to um them so apparently i have my score is less than 70 percent of 23 me customers and i have 261 neander i can't say it neanderthal variants so yeah I don't know if that's good or bad, but um, apparently you have fewer variants than 70% of customers. Hmm. However, your Neanderthal, I can't say the word again, ancestry accounts for less than 4% of your overall DNA. And then you can share and compare. And you've got your connections and stuff like that. It's really, like, it's really cool. There's lots of different little subjects you can look at and you just kind of, you know invite people to connect with them and stuff like that now obviously i'm just using this on my phone but when you're on a laptop it is easier or on a computer because you can see it on a kind of big screen or you can print print things out and have a good look you know i'm just doing this as a kind of quick little thing to update you all. um but yeah i mean it's it's just really cool and then you can get to update your page and stuff so obviously i might be looking for other relatives to talk to but some other people might be looking as well so um you can kind of update your page say a little bit about yourself and if you've got they ask for like any names and stuff of, of relatives from your past and present that you know um then you, yeah you can add a photo so your dna relatives can get to know you better uh, want to see all of your results on page so you can get like a uh, on one page re report summary it's really interesting honestly i find this sort of stuff just so literally so fascinating like i could just think about it for hours i just i always think like what are my you know ancestors like what do they look like what do they do um yeah and this is just basically you know telling you how it all works what they do and stuff it's it's really interesting. There's tutorials you tu tutorials you can watch as well to find out how it all gets done from start to finish. So you know, literally from taking that little bit of spit, you know, in that little bottle and sending it away, I've found out so much about my history, and I can also find out you know uh, relatives that I didn't know about, and it's pretty cool, I think, to you know be able to like communicate with people around the world who I could share like a great grandparent with or great great grandparent somewhere along the line in some way we are connected through DNA so I'm I'm definitely gonna you know reach out to them people and as I say maybe some of them will reply and I found it the best thing I loved about reading it all was that um, as I say my ancestors were part of this kind of early uh, Judaism kind of 
Anaknazi, I can't say the word, Jews, um, basically uh, Middle Eastern Jews. And, you know, the fact that they weren't just in it, they were like one of the founders of it. So I think that's pretty cool. Like, I was like, oh. And maybe that is why I feel so connected to Judaism and, and you know, I, the whole Jewish culture just, like, fasc fascinates me and I just really love it and stuff. And, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's made me feel good. And I'm definitely going to print out my results, as I say, keep them in, like, a little folder and stuff. But if you are interested in finding out about your, you know, heritage and your past and stuff, I mean, there's all different things you could try, like a family tree and stuff. Um, the family tree thing... I did try it a little while ago, but it was so difficult because unless you've got like proper names and, you know, dates of birth and places people are born, it is quite tricky and, you know, it's, it's difficult. But I think if you've got all that information, then that would be an amazing thing to do. But this is like giving me a little bit of like, I don't know, happiness because I feel like I've got to know my past a little bit more, you know. So I wish it would have included like loads of photographs of them, but that's not going to happen. But um, yeah, just to imagine these kind of people and where they're from in the world and to know I've got a bit of this in me and a bit of that. And yeah, it's really cool. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you are interested, as I say, there's lots of other companies that do, do this kind of thing. I mean, from my opinion, 23andMe were brilliant. As I say, great service. You know, the price compared to some of them was cheaper. There were other companies who were a lot more expensive to do this kind of service. The, you know, the waiting time was quite good. It was quicker than they actually said it would be to get my results. The whole kit looked nice. You know, it was easy to use and stuff and posted it back. And yeah, it was overall, I think, a really good experience. I'm pleased I've done it. And uh, yeah, I just feel like I've kind of got to know my past and, and, and my kind of DNA a little bit more. I don't know if that sounds weird, but yeah. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if you've ever done your DNA like results and things like testing, let me know what results you got and were you shocked? Was there anything in your results that kind of shocked you? Um, I don't know what shocked me really thinking about my results. Like, I don't know. Like, I didn't imagine German or French. I don't know why. I didn't. I didn't feel any connection with that. But obviously, there is some German and French in me. Um, and I was quite happy to know as well that there was like some connection with like very early on because oh also I couldn't show you on the phone but if you look on a big screen like on the computer or laptop there's like a timeline so it showing shows you like where it all kind of took place and you know say from France it was this year around that kind of time and then it goes back and that so that was cool to see it on a timeline of, of where your ancestors were from but um yeah I just thought it was really interesting to kind of see the timeline and, and there was like uh, I think it was like Arabian and stuff, so definitely like started out in the kind of Middle East and then went kind of European and ended up in England and it's just, yeah, it's really interesting. I, honestly, I'm such a geek, I find this kind of stuff like really fascinating. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, but thank you for watching and as I say, I'll put the link down below actually to 20... Oh bit of wind there sorry i'll put the link down below to 23 me so if you want to do anything like this with this you know site the link will be there but as i say if not google there's lots of other companies that do the same type of thing anyway i want to say a huge thank you to nathan my fiance for buying the kit for me and helping me with it all and thank you nathan for getting me this it's really it's really cool it's a great 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 gift actually really interesting present Anyway, I'm going to go. Please subscribe, click like, comment, click the notification bell. Social media links are down below. And don't forget, MinxLaw123 ASMR is my other YouTube channel. So please go check that out. I make videos to help people with anxiety and insomnia. Basically like relaxation videos. So go check out the other channel. By the way, sir, I look really crap. I have no makeup on. I just look really crap. Anyway, bye. <laughs>